delivery procedure is different. So I'm on my way to my doctor office. Dr. Miami's Tower. How the hell I'm gonna get out now? So this is the first time getting in and out the car since my surgery. on my pillow. Can you have the with these please if you don't mind? What do you need sweetie? These. You want me to put them on for you? Yeah. Thank okay. You. I got you. We're gonna turn them off first. And yes, you want the doctor to see you with these boots on. Thank you. No problem. Here's your pillow. Walk with it like your best friend. You need that pill everywhere you go, okay? It is my best friend. <laughs> okay. And then when it's time for you to go back to the hotel, if you feel good to walk, you can. If not, text me in the, in the message and sit, for, we'll sit right here and wait for me, okay? Okay, thank you. Right. I hope this damn thing doesn't go off again. So every time when I walk in the sun, that's what happened. I'm doing good so far. First time coming outside since I've got my surgery done. So I'm heading up to the fifth floor to get my post-op appointment to take home my train. Because I'm going home tomorrow, so she's just gonna check me to make sure that everything is doing okay. So I'm excited for this appointment. This is the pillow that I have to sit on to protect my butt. Yes, yeah, so this is my post-op appointment. And I'm super excited to remove these drainage. I'm going home tomorrow. I'm not really looking forward for that flight that four hour flight. But I miss my baby, so I need to get home. I need to get home to see her. I miss my family. My husband is coming back tonight. He's flying back tonight to pick me up. So, so we tomorrow morning, we're gonna be leaving early tomorrow morning to go back home. I'm super excited. I'm doing a lot better. This is the this is one week post up of my surgery and I'm really doing very well. I'm not in any pain. I'm comfortable. Um, I did took some ibuprofen today before I took my shower and I know I'm gonna come to the appointment so I took some ibuprofen. So I'm, I'm comfortable right now. I'm comfy. You got a little bruise right there. I can't bring my hand up too high to comb my hair, so. It is what it is. So the experience so far is good. I mean, if you wanna do your surgery, don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone talk you out of it. You're doing it for you, yourself. So you don't care what people wanna say. People gonna say, regardless or not, people gonna have negative things to say. Just think about the positive part of it. You're doing this for yourself and that's all matters. So if you feel like you have to do your surgery, go ahead, do it. Don't let anyone talk you out of it. Yes, yeah, so when you first came in, um, they do an ultrasound on your leg. They want to make sure that the circulation is good, flowing in your leg. They do another one. Um, the I think a day or two or a couple of days after surgery, and today is one week post op. So I did another one this morning because I'm going home tomorrow. So everything looking good so far. They just want to make sure it's the same consistency. 
slowing in your legs, no blockage or anything like that. So the care here is very good. I stay at the recovery home. It's it's a hotel slash recovery home. All these patients go there for a recovery. And it's like two minute drive, five minute walk or less than five minutes walk to get to the office. Yeah, so the treatment there with the stay there was good. I, the staff is very friendly. Everyone very kind and friendly, very helpful. And I will definitely recommend Bayview Arbor. Since my surgery, I have saw the doctor two times already, so this will be the third time since I'm seeing the doctor. Yeah, they do follow you up. They make sure everything is going on well with you. A nurse come in every day and check on you in your room to make sure everything is okay. You get 24 hour help from their staff. Um, yeah, any question you wanna know, you can leave it in the comment below and I will definitely answer. Or you could leave your question in Toya Bailey 4 and Instagram. And I will definitely do another video to answer all the questions that you want to ask. So leave it in the comment below, all your questions. I'm here to answer them. You vlogging everything? I'm trying. <laughs> Is the swelling is going down? Yeah, and that's like, you know, it takes months for all the swelling to go down. The first month is the worst, but then it gets better. Probably see the hip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, but, um, so lower, I want you to lower the, the underwear for me all the way down. Just enough so I can be able to see the whole thing before I have to Just like that, it's fine. Just gonna put a little bit of that in, okay? Okay. It's gonna be like a quick pinch, okay? The suction machine is gonna help take that whole thing around. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. It's swollen down here too. Mm -hmm. the, the, the 
vagina or five cubic area, it gets so swollen. <laughs> You remind you of when you have given birth. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the first thing, I'm not going to take it out just yet. I'm just, hold on. So what do you call this? So this is called a Penrose drain, is what it's called. And, and the, only the liposuction patient get this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. you, the tummy tuck patients get a different drain. They get a, what's called a JP drain. Oh, let me grab one of those. The JP drain is like that long one. It has a bulb at the end. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Penrose. So what's the difference? I mean, well, because the Penrose is this short, the the JP drain is a lot longer. So he needs one all to go, like go oh, all the way on top and like to go across the lower abdomen for the tummy tuck. But for lipo, all of the serums usually accumulate down at the bottom here, so that's where he puts the Penrose. So what you can focus on here is the same thing what I told you from on the back, just massage. Kind of push around your stomach, get the fluid to try to flow through here, okay? Okay. Right, did you everything really no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right, let's turn around. I want to see the back side. Here. Here. Let me feel. That just feels like swelling. Yeah, that's just swelling. Okay. Um, where? Um, yeah, because before I did the surgery, mm -hmm. it was terrible. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is just swollen right now or you get to take all the fat out or what. Oh yeah, you see how you feel that's hard? Like that's swollen. So okay. that's really swollen right now. Okay. So it's gonna go down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how soon before it grows up? So it could usually a couple days, but the more you push fluid out, the longer it's gonna stay open, you know? You wanna cover that one? This one, no, I want this one to stay open because that one's losing a lot mm -hmm. and you have the diaper. But I think, do you want to put more gauze into that? Yeah. Hold on, I think I actually have this better. ABD time. Okay. 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 Hold on. This is just going to keep on. Yeah, that one always there, just like that. Perfect. All right. And now you have the stitches from the lipo, which I'm going to take out too, okay? You got one back here. Okay. And then you have one on each side right here under the butt, okay? Okay. That one hurts. Yeah, that's it. That's out. And then one more here. Okay, that one's out too. Okay. Now <laughs> we're gonna replace the tapes on the breasts, okay? Okay. So did you do anything to the nipples? Uh, the actual nipple? Not the nipple, but the areola. Okay. Yeah. The areolas, um, he moves it up along okay. with the nipple. I think that's what I'm loving more than anything else so far. The, the breast? breast? Oh, yeah. <laughs> from day one. Well, they look from, really nice. Yeah, really, right, really from nice. right after surgery. That's when I fall in love with. <laughs> so pretty. It almost looks like you have like implants. Yeah. <laughs> Even so, though like, it's swollen. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm going to start taking the tape off it. You're going to feel, it's going to, it's sticky. So you're, it's going to be a little bit painful. Okay. But I'll try to do it nice and slow. And how long before I start wearing a bra? <laughs> Six weeks. Uh, well, you can wear a bra that doesn't have any underwear. Regular bras with underwear, you have to wait until you're six weeks post op Bleeding, it's expected. Awesome. Okay, we put a little bigger time. Oh, this one is more swollen. Yeah, that's a little more swollen. That's normal. Expected. Oh, the neck will be one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this tape back on. Oh, okay, new tape? New tape. So this tape that I'm putting on is going to stay on for three more weeks. Okay. The caretakers at the hotel are going to give you some more tape just in case if you need to replace them. You really only need to change it if it's like visibly dirty or falling off. Okay. If not, they stay on three more weeks, okay? Now it's time for pictures. Okay. All right. Let me take your gown off and stand right here in front of this green backdrop. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to your one week follow up. Nice clean tape. Let's see. Tape is nice and clean. Your journey from here, and there, right there, right. that area. Yeah. We'll keep going on that. How do you feel? It's feeling great. 
All right, good. No heavy lifting. No hot showers, only lukewarm, mm -hmm. right? Wear those stockings and stuff for the next week. Send me pictures once a week. Okay. At least once a week. The sooner, more often if you need to, but at least once a week. Happy? Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> this is a long time coming. I know. The press look beautiful. <laughs> I mean, look beautiful. It's still swollen in the middle, but yeah. Down, we'll but do you think this one is, the nipple is more bigger than this one? The nipple itself or the areola? The areola is the same. The nipple might be a little bit more swollen right now. I didn't change the nipple. I changed the areolas. So the nipples, I think they're back to what they were before. Okay. Yeah, if it, if it didn't bother you before, it won't bother you at the end when the swelling's down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, feeling in your nipples? The sensation you can adjust them from? Yeah? Mm hmm. That makes all the good. Yeah. Excellent. And I was just a little concerned about here, but she said it's Let me see. swelling. Because this, this was my problem before yeah, that, that's, I came that's, 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 that's all swelling, yes. That's all swelling. There's no fat. That's just skin and swelling. Okay. That will be now. It takes time. It's a process, you know. Well, I, I see a lot of improvement already. Just wait. It, it, we, it's a week to <laughs> week improvement. Not that, that week to week, you know. I know. But certainly by, you know, July, August will be hot girl summer, okay? Okay. Uh, so hello. Anything else that I need to? Uh, no, just take it easy. You remember my instructions. Mm -hmm. uh, when the tapes come off at one month, you you'll, should get an email with instructions. But I like silicone tape. On the incisions, okay. Okay, and I also like a biocornea. And you put the silicone tape on at night, the biocornea, and the cornea on during the day. Okay. Helps keep the scar flat. So um, what about intercourse and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, if you find the right person, <laughs> okay. I won't tell anybody. Now, I'll wait. I'll wait like a couple of weeks till you're ready. Okay. When you're ready, you're ready. Okay. Listen to your body. You know, okay. Don't do too much too soon. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Enjoy your new body. I will definitely. Be patient with it. Keep in touch. Let me know how you're feeling. I will say one more thing. There's about 200 stitches under the skin that dissolve for the breast. It's not uncommon that a few of them, the way they get dissolved is your body attacks them and eats them up. But sometimes your body will attack them and instead push them out through the skin. You'll feel a little hard piece of plastic or like a knot under the skin. If that happens, text the hotline, we'll tell you what to do. But basically, take tweezers, you pull it, and you snip it with clean scissors, and that's it. Okay. That's really the only thing to watch out for at this point. Just continue, you know, take it easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Right. We will keep in touch, and I can't welcome. wait to see my Your final result. Final God bless you. <laughs> and I hope I don't have to come back. <laughs> oh, well, and if you do, I'm here. I'm not retiring for 9.9 .9 more years. So, you know. All right, take care. Okay, bye. thank you. Have a good one. Okay, you too. Bye. Okay, so now I'm going to get dressed. Make sure you pass. So, today I'm doing my body reveal. And I'm also going to be trying on some pieces, my swimsuits that I'm gonna be wearing on my vacation. And also stay tuned for those vlog, those vacation vlog. You don't wanna miss out on it. So as I said today, um, 11 weeks post off and I'm ready to show my new body. So I'm gonna be trying on some pieces. So let's get right into it. So first let's Jump roll. Okay, so let's get into it and I'm about to reveal my new body. And comment down below, what do you think? Okay, ready? Okay. So. So I wasn't looking for big booty. I wasn't going for that look. I was going for a more natural look. And this is what I got. So let me know what you think of my new body.
and the it's. Okay. Yes, so that's my body reveal. I'm loving it. I'm so happy to share this journey with you guys. So as I said, comment down below and tell me what do you think. So now I'm going to be trying on some of my swimwear pieces that I'm going to be wearing on my vacation. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, so this piece is from my collection. You know I did my boobs. And this is what's going on here. This is my swimwear. Make sure you tune in to see that video. Going to be some crazy vlog coming your way. My vacation. This is a one piece swimsuit with my short cover up over it. This one is from Sheen and this piece is from Carlos. I hope I'm saying it right. Kali. Yeah, so this is the look. Beautiful color. And this is the look. Another piece is from my collection again. Another my collection. It's all the way down here. I don't know if you could see that well. Down to my ankle. And this is also another three pieces from my collection. Swimsuit and cover up. Hope you like it. Leave in the comment how much you rate this from one to 10, how much you rate my outfit and which one you like better. with my glasses this is all from Dior
so this is it for now i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and share and if you're not yet subscribed please do so leave your comment below and stay tuned for my vacation vlog see you soon thanks for watching love you guys Mwah.